guys welcome to my channel it's me deville and you are watching tipsy okay guys so for today's video i'm going to share with you guys my journey into finally obtaining one of my dream shoes which i really liked three years ago but i was not able to buy one because of a lot of reasons the very first one is that it is very expensive and during that time, I was really hesitating to use a large amount of money in an expensive shoes because I believe that, you know, shoes, sneakers are tend or bound to get dirty when you use it outside, especially if you are not aware of the weather on the day you use it. And secondly, when I started actually liking these shoes, it was already sold out so i was not able to see one being sold in a retail store and lastly you know a lot of my friends from my school were actually saying you eh, know it's an ugly shoes it's going to be hard for you to coordinate it with your fashion or whatever it's going to be dirty in no time so due to this you know many reasons I was not able to buy it and three years after I still regret the day I didn't buy it so for today I'm going to share with you guys the shoe that I was recently able to to order or to obtain through an online store although although it was not an easy process because guys you know we all know online stores there are things that we cannot control when we buy stuff online because first we don't know if the seller is actually telling or selling an authentic brand or goods so there is you know this kind of stigma wherein probably a seller is a scam artist because you you will just judge his products based on how, what he says and what he posts in the store so you you don't have any other proof or whatsoever but i was able to find a seller in an online store and bought the shoe the very first time in a website called yahoo auction which i will be discussing further later and another online store called mercari an online shop in japan which also sells brand new or secondhand goods. I'm now going to introduce to you the shoes. It is actually a collaboration between two brands, Reebok, which I believe everyone knows about because it's very, very popular, just like Adidas and Nike, and Vetmall, a French clothing brand that I consider a luxury brand because of its high price tags. And it is actually spelled V-E-T-E-M-E nts it is a french word for clothes so this is a fairly new brand probably five to six year old and they are selling a lot of unique products goods fashion fashion wear and shoes and i really like their unique take on um varieties of fashion pieces so this is the shoe the, the second shoe that i bought online from mercari Again, I don't know how to pronounce it. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So, it comes with this box, this gray box. Am I right? Is it gray? And it looks really expensive because, you know, it doesn't have any damage. It has a lot of, you know, logos from Reebok. The very, very, the face of the box actually has a Reebok name brand. And the sides have the Reebok symbol the brand symbol here and in the left and in the right and on this side of the box you can see the paper that was posted on it with the information about the shoes the size the production number the barcode so you can check you know if the shoe inside actually corresponds to the information that was given in the box and the back of it there is nothing here but on the bottom of it there is on uh, information on to how to recycle this particular box and lastly at the top of the box is the symbol or the brand name for the other brand which collaborated with Reebok called Vetmo 
so this is its brand name it is actually what do you call it when some letters are it is not embossed it's the opposite of embossed it is you know protruding backwards i don't know you can also comment down below so i'm going to open it now i really really like this shoe actually it it really looks expensive though it comes with two shoe what do you call this shoe plastics shoe bags shoe whatever shoe i don't know that is the same color with the box and the two shoe bags actually have the right and left um print on it so as you can see as if we don't know that but i don't know that actually and the inside of the box actually has this notice i don't know if this actually comes with all of the shoe boxes but it is a warning into it is a warning that says um something about returning the product if it is damaged or not so you are i'm gonna read it for you guys i can't explain it okay so notice before wearing shoes cannot be returned if they show any signs of wear do not try on any surface other than the carpet shoe box must be returned undamaged do not ship the sh sh do not ship shoe box without protection of an additional box missing or damaged boxes subject to 20 percent restocking fee so i don't know about that maybe the seller knows about this you know notice but i don't know it we are not gonna use it so it comes with this you know protection from anything i think dust protection and now we can see the shoe actually it is here this is the shoe that i'm talking about it is vetmo reebok graffiti 1.0 because there is already a second version which i don't really like i just like the shoe so this is um the right side <laughs> shoes and the left side so other than these things we also have the receipt from the seller because he bought it from the united states and um the tag that i all I already removed from the shoes so as you can see all the faces of the shoes actually have this graffiti art or doodle art that a grade school or probably a preschool student can actually do on his own so there are a lot of you know random stuff that was written in the shoes particularly this step you know turn on tune in it's ran it's very random like bored me i'm bored no i'm not bored me i mean bored i'm bored me too md i think this is also a brand long street you know do love friend which has a different spelling tune in version ha ha step every phase of the shoe actually has a graffiti which makes me like this shoe better i i actually like the idea that you know you're gonna draw on a particular shoes and then it will look like this very very colorful and very very playful you can wear it with a lot of you know fashion pieces and as you can see it's very unique because you know in japan a reebok insapon fury silhouette is actually very famous or very very popular because you don't have to tie anything because it doesn't have what do you call this um the ties the the um the, the, the whatever you know what i'm talking about you, they don't have this so you will just put in your sh your feet and then if you are going to remove it it's very easy to remove it from your feet because you will just remove it plus you can actually pump it there, there is a pump technology from reebok that can perfectly fit the shoes to your feet okay i saw a lot of celebrities wearing this for um international artists i think kylie jenner were wore this particular shoes in a flight i saw an online photo but definitely she did not influence me to buy this i'm not a fan I saw this one being worn by a lot of Korean celebrities, particularly Sandara Park and Filipino celebrities from also Vice Ganda, if you know her or him.
they are also using this shoes because I, I i think it's cute i mean i don't know a lot of my friends are gonna say ah uh, that's a very ugly shoes but fuck you guys i don't care <laughs> is that allowed here <laughs> okay anyways now the details of as to how i was able to obtain this so there again i will mention there is an online shop i am not sponsored by them called mercari I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Mercari, spelled as M-E-R-C-A-R-Y. You have to make your account there, and then there are a lot of items, products, goods that are available in this shop. So you will just choose the item that you want, and you will order that directly from the seller. So they are actually providing the price. I don't know if it's negotiable, but I think it is like an auction where you are going to bid the product or your the price that you actually want. So when, when I was ordering in Mercari the second time, because I, I told you I was scammed, probably scammed during the first one, I did not actually saw this post right away i was looking for another shoes with a different size because my size is us 10 or uk mm, euro i don't know uk 9 uk 9 or european 43 i only saw a us 10.5 online and i was willing to to buy that because i am desperate to have this one because i have already bought the other shoe that I really like. So I really wanted to complete my my um, gym shoes on, by the end of the decade, which is 2019. So I was desperate to have this one. And luckily, the seller posted the item just as I was browsing for a different shoes or just as I was going to buy the other shoe with a different size. The thing is, when I saw his post, I already, I, I immediately ask a lot of questions like if I can see the receipt, if I can see if it has a box. Because one tip guys, if you are buying online a product, ask for the receipt and box. Because that can be a sign of an authentic goods for me. Because you can, you will be able to check if the shoes and the shoe, if the shoe box and the sneakers are actually um isho together together or if they are i don't know why am i speaking japanese you can check it from the sticker that i showed you a while ago from the shoe box and the tag inside the shoes so you can um confirm whether this shoe actually came from the shoe box also with the receipt you can know that they actually bought it in a in an official retail store because you know sometimes the qr code in in the shoe box are also searchable by by um a lot of applications in your smartphone so you can check if this is an official brand or a, a, an official shoes from the brand all I, I think that's just about it of course before i was able to obtain the shoes i also had a lot of worries because uh, you know when the first the, the the very first online product you bought online is probably fake it makes you feel like probably this time or the second time around it's also a fake one so i had a lot of anxiety thinking about you know the money that i spent to get these shoes and if i'm going to be satisfied with the product but luckily it is actually to be fair to the seller it is really an original, authentic goods because I can feel it. As I said earlier, when you ra when you really like a particular shoes, you can actually feel if it's original or authentic. So, enough of this. I'm going to show to you guys the very first shoes that I bought in another online store called Yahoo Auction, and if possible, we can look at the differences, the key differences between the two shoes. Or the two sneakers. So, I bought the very first shoes that I ordered online in Yahoo Auction. It is the eBay version of Japan because I think it is not 
widely accepted in the country that particular website although you can use it but all of the orders are going to be coming from the united states or other parts of the world so one of the key differences between my first and second order is that the very first shoes that i ordered doesn't actually have a receipt or it doesn't have a shoe box it is a second hand shoes because that's how desperate i am to be fair, when I first saw the shoes out of the delivery box, it looks brand new. Although the seller told me that it was already worn probably 10 times. But I don't care about that because as I said, it's very hard to find these shoes everywhere in the world. Because, you know, there are no stocks available in in the public or whatsoever so as you can see it has the same design same very very similar designs of graffiti art or doodle art and as you can see it's not brand new this is not brand new so there are a lot of um similarities between the, sh the first shoe that i saw sh i showed earlier so it's also mentioning a lot of random stuff but one thing I discovered from this shoe is that the placing of the letters are actually different. But when I searched for the art or the, the shoes or sneakers in Google, I saw that all of the art placements are actually varied. So as I mentioned earlier, probably the design for every sneakers are unique and varied. So at first glance, it doesn't look fake. A lot of my friends, when I first show this and guys i wore it online i i posted it on instagram not a single person actually thought it was fake very first thing that i noticed in these shoes it is it is not balanced so the very the the left side of the shoe what 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 side of the shoe i think the right side the right side of the shoe is not balanced so if you can see here it is it you cannot put it in a proper placing or position because it's gonna move so probably the construction of the outsole of the shoes is not properly done so the reason for it to be unbalanced so as you can see then when i was trying to do the palm technology you know the very first thing i thought is that it's because it's already worn it's already a second hand item so probably the first user of these shoes misused this pump technology so you cannot use it anymore but you can actually press it but there is no you can see that there is no um air that's being pumped inside so basically it's just for design purposes or probably they cannot replicate the technology that reebok is offering for their insta pump fury shoes so as you can see you can pump it but there is no air entering the shoes or but and then this one you can use this to um to remove the shoes that you just pumped inside but when i use it you can you can press it but there is no effect there's nothing that's going on in it it's just for decor decorative purposes, I guess. But definitely, when you look at it, everyone will think this is an actual or authentic shoes. A lot of my friends are saying that this is an actual and authentic shoes. But I, I'm just not satisfied. What else should I mention? Also, the inside of the sneakers have this insole with a vetment writing on it that is unreadable anymore because again i thought because the user already used it for a lot of time so probably it was um erased by too much use or by wear but it really looks real i don't know also one more thing this is from my friends one from the united states atemais and one from the philippines alej thank you so much for mentioning to me the very first the the, the original shoe actually looks chunkier bigger and wider while the fake one as you can see it looks a little thin a little um uh it's not wide it's the it's the opposite of wide what is the opposite of wide guys help me i can't find the right word it's 
hosoi in Japanese. Can you translate it? It's thin. It's but you you use thin for people, right? So it's very. Uh... Ah, help me! It's not wide. It's not wide. Look, it it it's not wide like the original one. Look at the original one. It looks very wide. I don't know. Maybe that's also a dead giveaway. Also, what else is the difference here? This one. The pump technology. I mean, I already mentioned the pump technology, but the, this, this, the, the design in the pump button, you can feel the paint that was splattered here because it was painted by, you know, a different color. But in the original one, you cannot feel that. It's very, very smooth. The, the pump button is very smooth in the original one. Plus, it is usable in the original one. There is actual sh actual air that's coming out, uh, coming in to the inside of these shoes. Because, of course, it was made by Reebok and they created this technology. But in the fake one, like, no matter how many pumps you do, there is no air coming inside of these shoes. Okay, so lastly, I guess, with the price, they're the same price. Again, I'm not gonna disclose that. Because I'm very stupid to be able to be to 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 buy this fake shoes but definitely some people will not actually think that this is a fake shoes because again as I said earlier not a lot of people have knowledge with this collaboration or not a lot of people have this shoes so they cannot tell it whether it's fake or not and I, I, I as I said again I don't have any proofs to tell but the thing is that it just doesn't come out with the box so I cannot confirm it if the details from inside of the shoes are actually right because the production number is really the same but actually there's also a difference between those two so if you can just show it or pause it like this one there is you know colors splattered on the um on the details because probably it was um introduced or um what do you call this a water was introduced inside the shoe so the the color was splattered but in the original one you cannot see anything about you, you, you cannot see anything like that it's very smooth it was properly done and it's very clean and again it has a shoe box that can confirm whether the information pasted on this sneakers is authentic or not so i have something here the shoe box where i can confirm that so this is original i know this is original because i can feel it i can i have this guts that this is original this is fake because it's very hard to wear the design is good but it doesn't feel original you know there are a lot of times when we are wearing a particular sneakers and it doesn't fit us perfectly but that is because of the size but this is my actual size this is us 10 it's the same size of shoes but it's still not easy to wear it still hurts my feet so probably that's what's the problem with a lot of fake items because you know they cannot they can replicate the design, but they cannot replicate the experience for wearing the shoes. It's very hard to duplicate that. What else should I mention? Everything is completely copied from head to toe. You, you cannot tell the difference between these two shoes actually. But, you know, another thing that I wanted to also mention to you guys is this part of the shoes. And this fake shoe, or po probably fake shoes, this is very wide. Uh, yeah, the hole that you can see from the outside of the sneakers is very wide. But when you see it from the original one, it's not that wide. There is a little, yeah, there is still a hole, but it's not as wide as the one that we can see from the fake one. Okay guys, so another thing that I would like to mention is the back of the sneakers. As you can see in the original one, I don't know this part of a shoe, but it is properly sewn into the shoes. And as you can see, the parts at the back are very balanced and even. 
as you can see on both parts of the shoes on both on both shoes on the other hand in this shoes you don't have to be an expert to know that this is fake look at the balance of this part and this part in the first shoe it is balanced and stable stable fuck it's balanced and even but in this shoes look at this one this looks higher than this one it's not even balanced you don't have to be an expert to know this i am not an expert probably in on sneakers but you know i believe that brands or companies that that produce products like this one they will not let this pass their you know their authentication um sector or authentication system because you see does anybody the, will anybody actually buy this if they saw that it was balanced it's unbalanced like this one it's not right so you will not buy this so probably this is not a product that was produced in an uh verified factory or whatsoever moreover i i, I was really having this worries about this part because it was not properly sewn into the shoes like it's very you know it's unflattering to see this one unlike in the original one it's properly done lastly again the original shoes this is the original shoes right see it's very confusing already in the in the, in the original shoes the hexagon that is present in the uh, in this in the sole of the shoes is shorter and smaller there is also a sex hexagon here it's shorter and smaller i don't know if you can see it yeah right i actually have another reebok shoes in the color red with the same silhouette insta pump fury and the size of the hexagon present on both shoes are the same however on the knockoff one or fake one you know this is bigger you can see it right this is a lot bigger and wider also in this side of the shoes it's bigger and wider you can compare it with the original one look this is smaller right this is very wide i don't know they didn't even you know check the actual size of it if i i don't know but nobody will know this actually look this is the sides see this is the fake one okay this is the original one it's properly done i don't know something's telling me it's properly done that's just about it i guess also in this part of the shoes you cannot see any um any strings what the hell i don't know the parts of the shoes guys i apologize for that but you know it there is nothing wrong with this it's very hard and i think durable in the fake one we call this in filipino himolmol there are like this kinds of stuff that you can easily remove from the shoes so probably this is really not properly soon but definitely when you look at it from the from a far away place nobody will notice that so it's very dangerous to buy it but again one of my very important tips for you guys you know this online shops like mercari and yahoo auction they are authentic shops. They are authentic brands. I, I mean, authentic stores selling products. But, but it depends on the seller whether he's actually selling a fake one or not. So, to be able to avoid that kind of problem, which I experienced during my first order online, guys, be a little strict with what you're going to buy. You have to demand for the photo of the receipt, for the photo of the shoe box, everything that comes with the product. You know, if you are gonna buy particularly a designer brand shoes, designer brand items, the seller are bound to keep the receipt. These are not cheap products where you can just throw away the tags. When I buy expensive expensive items from Gucci or Chanel of course I keep the receipt because there is a feeling for me where 
probably in the next 10 years, I'm not going to be using this product. Probably I can sell it in a cheaper price, but still a reasonable one. But if a seller refuses to give you details about where he bought it and he just said that it was a fake, it's not fake, it's original, nobody, not any seller in Japan will tell you that a product is fake because it's illegal here. They can be sued. Okay, so that's just about it. So I'm now going to share with you guys how it feels to wear both shoes and what I think about when wearing these shoes. So let's see. So I'm currently wearing the original one, the original Snickers. So I'm going to show it to you guys. It's very comfortable as you can see. Right, it fits me perfectly because I think the sizes of a Reebok in Sofon Fury is true to the size of the user. So you can use it for walking. <laughs> this is so nice. And running. <laughs> right? Don't have any problems with it. Let's try the pump technology. So I'm going to pump this three times. The Okay. <laughs> That's not cheat time, bitch. Please. I'm. I mean, I'm gonna pump it multiple times. Interesting. It's very balanced. When you are in a standing position, it doesn't move. It doesn't like have this uneasy feeling to it. So this is really authentic, I guess. See. <laughs> Right? So good. <laughs> Alright. So, this time let's review the other one. I'm now trying on the fake one. So, let's try to review this one compared to the very first one. Okay, let's do this. To it is very, very uneasy. You can feel the, f the structure inside. There, there are a lot of parts inside that you can feel on your feet so it's not very comfortable when you put it on you can also use it for walking I think there is no problem with that or running <laughs> but it's 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 painful on your feet and th this I mentioned this a while ago in this part of the shoe this one this part of the shoes, as you can see, it is unba It looks unbalanced. It is not at the center. This is not at the center of my feet, unlike this here. And the back of the shoe is not also at the center of my feet. Plus, there is an easy feeling in this part and in this part. So, I think you will not stand for too long wearing the shoes because it's painful. But... Looking at it from the outside, it's very, very good, I think. It's, it still looks, you know, original. But definitely this is a fake one. Because they did not properly do the parts inside. Because as, you, as we all know, the fake manufacturers tend to hide the imperfections of the shoes from the inside or from the parts where the user cannot see it. It's... Let's try the pump one. This time, it's three times. One, two, three. Nothing is going on. One, two, three. See, even if you do multiple pumps, the air is not pumped inside. Loser. Anyway, I like the design though. can also use this actually but I prefer the original one it's just about it thank you so much for watching my video and if you have any questions clarifications any other stuff on your mind that you wanted to tell me you can comment it down below and if uh, yeah I have the time to, to answer you guys this season so that is all for today if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and if you also have a lot of friends that are interested in sneakers, you can share it with them, this video. And if you are doubting, if you already have these shoes and you wanted to know more, just, you know, direct message me in this platform. So thank you so much. And 
I hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you.